Hello and good evening, everyone. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Wonderful, Mr. William. No, this is Sanchez. Mr. Douglas Sanchez is back, huh? Yes. All right. Yeah, we noticed your absence these last classes. I hope you're doing good. Yes, I don't connect yesterday. All right, all right, all right. But you're fine, right? You're good. So that's very important. Welcome to the English class, ladies, Marielena and Monica. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Great, great to hear you. How are you today? I'm fine. And you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. A little irritated, you know, but I'm okay. I'm okay. I can do it. So I'm happy to hear you. I'm happy to see you. What's going on, Monica? How are you today? Okay, maybe she has problems with the audio. <laughs> yeah? ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? ¿Cómo sigue de salud? Have you, how have you been? How have how? you been of your health? How have you... Espérame, how, 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 a little irritated, a little, a little irritated, but it's not really important. I'm okay. I appreciate your question. All right. Um, how about Edwin Rodriguez? Hello, Edwin. How are you today? Hello, teacher. I am fine. Good night. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Good night is despedida. Yeah. Good evening. Okay, okay. Good, Good evening, evening, Edwin. How are you today? I am fine. Oh, okay. I'm happy to hear that, Edwin. Uh, how is work? How is work? How is work? Work is good. Work is good, teacher. Yes, work. My work is good. My family My is fine. Is... Yes. My work is good. My work is good. Okay, let's try to um, wait a little for the other participants. In the meantime, hagamos como un recap of yesterday's class. What did we learn yesterday? What did we learn yesterday? Hello? Que aprendimos el día de ayer? <laughs> el shoe use shoe and I think the lot. Mm, es que vimos un par de modal verbs. Mm -hmm. Yes, and and will no and yes no wall wall algo así. Ya se me olvidó. It's okay, Miss. It's okay. Lo que pasa es que eso es algo nuevo, ¿verdad? Usted me está platicando de los, de los extras que vimos ayer, como, como los module verbs, que me gusta que le llame la atención eso, right? Porque eh, los module verbs son los que nos ayudan a expresarnos, right? Elegantemente. ¿eh? Entonces, vimos un par de ellos, como usted mencionaba, should. 
que es para dar consejos. Fíjense, chicos. Should es para dar recomendaciones. Y me gusta mucho, ¿verdad? Porque es como que nosotros, es como que usted dé su propia opinión, ¿verdad? Eh, irrelevantemente si la otra persona tomará su recomendación o no. ¿verdad? El positivo es should y el negativo es shouldn't. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, a dar, al dar un consejo, ¿verdad? You should, y lo bueno es que no, no, no cambia para ningún subject pronoun. Um, y solo le agregamos un verbo base. Uh -huh. For example, you, you, you should in the morning. You should run in the morning. You should run in the morning. Ajá, ajá. Est estoy como que dándote un consejo, una, una recommendation. Ok. No es okay. que, ese es el contexto, guys. Ahorita vamos a ver el contexto con nosotros. ¿Y qué tal? Vaya, eh, Douglas dice, you should run in the morning. Fíjense, no es que te esté diciendo gordo, no es que te esté diciendo um, otra cosa, sino que es un consejo. You should run in the morning. It's a recommendation. Right? Usted lo toma positivamente, right? Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, I should, I should. Yo debería. I should. A ver, uno con negativo. You shouldn't. Tú no deberías. You shouldn't drink Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, yes. You shouldn't drink Coca-Cola. Igual, el shouldn't shouldn't plus base verb. You shouldn't drink Coca-Cola. You should drink milk. You should drink milk. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You should. Uh -huh. Tú deberías you beber leche, right? You should water. drink water. Uh -huh. You should drink water. You should drink milk. You shouldn't. You shouldn't drink Coca-Cola. You shouldn't drink um, soda. You shouldn't drink soda. Okay, aparte del um, should and shouldn't, we also saw a different module verb. ¿Cuál otro mencionamos? Estaba también el must. Must es cuando tú debes hacer algo. Tú tienes que hacer algo. Es una obligación. Ahí sí. Y si yo te digo must, es como que se parece al contexto de you have to. You have to. Por ejemplo, yo le digo a ustedes, you have to study. You have to practice more English. You have to. Tienes que hacerlo. Debes de hacerlo. Entonces, you must... Es similar, solo que con los model verbs no usamos la, el, la, la, ¿cómo se dice? El infinitivo con, con la preposición to, ¿verdad? Sino que must plus the base verb, tal cual. Y he una pregunta. Ajá. El must, ¿verdad que solo se utiliza en segunda y tercera persona? ¿O se puede también utilizar en el I? El must lo puedes usar con todos los sujetos, igual que el should, porque todos son modal verbs, todos son verbos modales, son verbos especiales, podríamos conocerlos así. Uh -huh. So, I must, yo debería, yo debo, I must, I must become bilingual. I must become bilingual. Yo debo llegar a ser bilingüe. I must. ¿Cuál sería el negativo de must? 
I mustn't. I must not. Mm -hmm. I must not. Plus the base verb. I must not. I must not speak in Spanish. Spanish in class. I must not speak in Spanish in class. Okay, yo no debo hablar en español. I must not speak in Spanish in class. All right. Okay. A ver, ¿qué otro? Which other one? Quiero ver, Good. habíamos visto wood. Me Good. extraña que no me habían Good. dicho este. Ooh. Wood. Porque de hecho es lo que aprendimos también, es la segunda, es la primera parte de lo que aprendimos que fue ways to report a problem. ¿Cómo reportamos un problema? How do you report a problem? Hello, what, um, how do you report a problem? How do you report a problem? Teacher Kalev nos los enseñó el día de ayer. <laughs> uh -huh. How do you report a problem, guys? En serio. Uh-huh. Technical support. You remember the class yesterday? What you call technical can't. support? Uh-huh. Can't. Can't. Yeah. Yes. No, no. sería I will. Yeah. Vaya, bueno, can. tenemos dos temas que vimos ayer. Sí, can no también es un model verb, okay. yeah. Good Todos estos son model verbs. Hi, good evening. Mundo, ah, va entrando. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ya sí. la estamos ahí cuestionando, mis. <laughs> no, no hay problema, bitch. No problem. No problem, ¿verdad? Ok, fíjense que ayer vimos lo que es cómo podemos reportar un problema. Entonces, no sé si ya se me les olvidó, pero... Um, aprendimos que hay una forma bien formal para reportar un problema, right? Usando un model verb. ¿Cuál era el model verb que usábamos para reportar un problema? Porque somos formales, somos bien profesionales para hablar, ¿verdad? So, what is the model verb? Va, se los dije ayer, pero se los voy a repetir porque veo que nadie me lo dice. ¿O sí? Es que no me acuerdo cómo se dice, teacher, pero era is, is to, algo así. Va, por ahí, por ahí. Me acuerdo, o sea, lo tengo escrito, pero no sé cómo se dice. Ok, ok, ok. Vaya, eh, las formas para pedir, un, para reportar un problema es con el um, model verb would. Would, would, and you say, I'd like to report a problem with my computer. I'd like to report a problem with my laptop. I'd like to report a problem with the internet. Continue, continue. I'd like to report a problem with, with my cell phone. 
I like to report a problem with my cell phone. Uh huh. Give an example. This is when you call tech support, when you call IT. Yeah, what kind of problems do you report to the IT department? I like to report a problem with my Printer, I like to report a problem with the copy machine. Can you give one example, please? I like to report a problem with my cell phone. Good, good, good. In what is it? ¿Cuál es? ¿Cuál es el problema? What is it? What is the problem? My, my cell phone does not connect to Wi-Fi. Correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. Y ahí como también ya dijimos, I have a problem with my cell phone. En vez de cell phone, puedo usar el subject it. Y al, ayer aprendimos el verbo parece o parecer. ¿Quién se acuerda? Sí. Excelente. Sí. It doesn't seem to connect to Wi-Fi. It doesn't seem to connect to Wi-Fi. It doesn't seem to connect to Wi-Fi. Okay, before we move on, let's go ahead and check the attendance, people. Alex Enoch Ramirez Salazar, are you here? Douglas Humberto Sanchez Diaz. I am here. Thank you, sir. Um, Edith uh, Dilia Hernandez Chacon. Present. Thank you. Edwin Alexis Rodriguez Cortez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Esmeralda Abigail Santos Amaya. Irving Joel Moran Gonzalez. Josue Eduardo Gutierrez Salguero. Present, teacher. All right, Josue, welcome to the class. Thank you. All right. Julio Cesar Caridad Valiente. Karen Elizabeth Ramos Aguilar. Present teacher. Cool. Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Meléndez. Present. Good job. Y Marilena Linares Díaz. Present. Mario Alberto Hernández Vázquez. Hi, teacher. Present. Welcome to the class, Mario. Thank you. In uh, Monica Maricela Martinez Pineda. Present. Okay, great. Patricia Beatriz Bonilla Lopez. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Raymond Antonio Escoto Abarca. Roberto Antonio Ramirez Gonzalez. And Tatiana Vanessa Escobar Ortiz. Present. Fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A ver, Esmeralda, Tati, ¿o quién me habló? Está ahí. Se corta. ¿You okay? Bueno, solamente... Perdón, me se le como corta un poquito. ¿Tati? Present. 
<laughs> okay, creo que tiene un poquito de, de internet ahí, problems, right? Internet connection issues. Ah, vocabulary. ¿Qué vocabulario aprendimos? Uh -huh. What did you learn yesterday? Who, who remembers issue? What is issue? Como un problema. Ok, aunque tú no estuviste ayer, es correcto. Eh, es correcto. Good job. Ok, espero que vayan tomando nota de sus uh, vocabularios nuevos, guys. Como eso, ¿verdad? Que aprendimos ayer. Eh, no hay que dejarlo de lado, todo ese vocabulario, los sinónimos que les enseño. You have to take notes, hay que tomar notas. Hay que repasar el vocabulario, please, because si ustedes están en un básico 2, eh, quiere decir que nos tenemos necesidad de mucho vocabulario. Entonces, una palabra nueva, dos palabras nuevas, guys, es una ganancia. So, take it into consideration. Considérenlo, porfa. Porque ayer vimos issue, que era el sinónimo de problem. I have a problem. I have an issue. Yep. Ok. ¿Cuál es el problema? What is it? Or what is the problem? What is the issue? What's the problem? O más concreto, más de concreto. What's the problem with your cell phone? What's the problem? Esta es una pregunta del técnico, ¿verdad? ¿no? With your cell phone. What's the problem with your cell phone? Repeat, what's the problem with your cell phone? What's the problem with your what's cell phone? What's the problem with your cell phone? Y pues ahí damos el problema, ¿verdad? It doesn't... ¿Qué? It doesn't... No enciende. How do you say no enciende? It doesn't turn on. It doesn't turn on. It doesn't um, connect to Wi-Fi. Okay, very good, very good. So we're going to do a little practice right now porque siento que no me han convencido del feedback de ayer porque esto es lo que vimos ayer, okay? Entonces, vamos a hacer un uh, pequeño ejercicio. Okay. Um, quiero que me escojan un device. Choose a device. Choose a device. Number one. Choose a device. Choose a device. Okay, guys. Do you understand? Choose a device, for example, a cell phone, for example, a computer, for example, uh, a printer, a copy machine, a projector, television? a television, uh -huh. cualquier dispositivo, right? Electronic, a television, puede ser a refrigerator, a washing machine, a microwave oven. Okay? Yes. Okay. Number two, report your problem. Your technical problem. Estamos hablando de problemas técnicos. Entonces, lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a hacer un drill entre toda la clase, ¿verdad? Para que todos podamos participar. ¿Ok? Y quiero que usemos el, uh, lo que vimos ayer en la llamada. ¿Se acuerdan? The phone call. ¿Cómo llamamos? Good morning. This is Peter from Technical Support. How can I help you? El saludo, ¿verdad? En el teléfono de soporte técnico. 
Tómenlo en cuenta que lo vamos a usar, right? We're going to use it right now. Vamos a hacer como llamadas de teléfono para reportar el problema. Ok. Este es el saludo, right? Good morning. This is Edwin from Technical Support. How can I help you? How can I help you? Very good. All right. Bueno, si ya tienen su uh, device, number one, choose a device. Number two, report a problem. Voy a comenzar yo, teacher Caleb, will start. Are you ready? Necesito que todos participen. Everybody participates. Okay. My device is a printer. Okay. Oops. Printer, like that. Printer, okay. okay. Do you know what is a printer? Do you know what a printer is? Yes. Okay, okay, very well. Impresora. Correct. All right. So, ¿Quién me da el saludo ahí? Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Edwin, danos tú el greeting, así como que tú estás en el departamento de soporte técnico. ¿Cómo sería tu greeting? A ver. Okay. Good evening. This is Edwin from Tech Support. Can I help you? How can I help you? How can I help? How can I help you? Ah, uh -huh. como es esa es para ofrecer tu servicio, verdad? Tu ayuda, tu apoyo. How can I help you? Um, how can I, how can I help you? Mm -hmm. How, how can, can I, I help you? Help, help you, help. How help can I you. help you? Okay, well, um, I have a problem with my printer. What is that? What is what it? Is what, what is it? it? Uh -huh. What is it? Well, um, my printer, well, uh, you know, the paper is stuck again. The paper is stuck again. Okay. Bueno, no nos vamos a adentrar en cómo resolver el problema, pero lo que podrías decir ahí sería, I see. Como, I see. Acknowledging que me entendés, ¿verdad? Vimos unas expresiones ayer para decir yo entiendo. ¿Qué I se acuerda? can. Got it. I got it. Ajá, uh -huh. I got it. En el contexto del libro, que decía, ay, sí, no quiere decir que usted lo ve, sino que usted lo entiende en ese caso, ¿verdad? Cuando usted dice, ay, sí, ah, ay, sí. Eh, Josué dice, I got it. ¿Qué otra forma había para entender? Yo entiendo. ¿No more? I understand. I, know. I understand. Uh -huh. I understand. Ajá, uh -huh, Douglas. Eh, podríamos decir, I know. I know. Mm -hmm. Sí, sí. I, I follow know. you. I follow you. Yo te sigo. Yo te voy siguiendo. ¿Ok? Te voy siguiendo. Te voy entendiendo. Te voy comprendiendo. I follow you. I follow you. All right. Nice, nice. Como aquí el objetivo es solo reportar el problema, right? Porque ahorita hasta ahí vamos a llegar. Ok. Vamos a hacer otro. Let me see. My device is... A smartwatch. El okay. saludo lo va a dar Laura. Vamos a ver, Laura. Tiene llamada, Laura. Hi, good, good evening. Uh, what's your problem? Así, o como... Sí, casi, casi, casi. Fíjese que si usted le dice what's your problem antes de eh, me gustaría que ofrezca su ayuda. ¿Cómo ofrece su ayuda? How can I help you? How can I ¿Cómo? How? How can I can I help help you? Help you. Bueno, ¿cómo nos presentábamos en el teléfono? My name is. 
My name is Laura. En el teléfono. This, ¿Cómo nos? This is. This is. Es más corto. This is Laura. Hi, good morning. This is Laura. From Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, good morning. This is Caleb from Tech Support. How can I help you? Va, ese saludo ahí, bien natural, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver ese saludo. Josué, ¿cómo te queda el saludo? No puedo ser yo, teacher. Vamos, Esmeralda, agarre usted. Hello, good evening. Technical support. How can I help you? Okay, 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 me gusta. Good morning, this is Esmeralda from Tech Support. Tech Support. How can I help you? Yes, yes, I have a problem. I have a problem with my smartwatch class. What did you program your smartphone? Well, it doesn't turn on. It doesn't turn on. Oh, okay. Puede ser, okay, puede ser. Oh, okay. Y ahora, let me ask you some questions. Let me ask you some questions. Repeat, let me ask you some questions. Let me... Let me ask you. Repeat, guys. Let me. Let me ask you let me some ask questions. 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 Let me ask you some questions. Let me ask you some questions. Let me ask you some. Let me ask you some questions. Let's see. Let me ask you some questions. Very nice, very nice. Ok. Y ahí terminamos, ¿verdad? Porque no nos vamos a adentrar en cómo solucionar el problema todavía, pero sí, el objetivo es cómo reportarlo. Entonces, necesito que escojan un device, así como lo he hecho yo. Necesito que eh, reporten el problema. Right? Recuerden, I'd like to report a problem. Yes. I like to report a problem. Quizás nos vamos a dirigir con la conversación que estábamos viendo ayer. So let me project that one. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, wonderful, I wonderful. see. Yes, I see. Okay. Okay. Vaya, vamos a hacer el role play así como que tal cual, ¿verdad? Como que es el real time ahí. Real time. Vamos a ver. Uh, Tati, ¿nos puedes dar el greeting? Ah, es que Tati Hello. tenés un poquito Hello. de conexión ahí. Problems, Tati. Tengo problema de conexión. Sí, mis. Ay, qué lástima. Pero, Pero si no es escucha. Sí, sí le escucho, Tichi. Vaya, entonces eh, esté atenta, ¿ok? Y úseme el chat, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, vaya, entonces. Mónica. Greeting, Mónica. Hi, good evening. This is Monica from Test Support. How can I help you? Hey, nice. Yes, <laughs> um, um, Monica, this is Caleb. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I like to report a problem. I like to report a problem with my smartwatch. What is it, Caleb? What is it? What is it, Caleb? 
Uh, it doesn't seem to turn on. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Excellent, Monica. Nice job. All right. Vaya, entonces, no sé si estamos ahí. Ya tienen ahí su device. Van a reportar el problema, right? Following the conversation. Are you ready? Yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Entonces, let's start with, let's start with Monica Martinez. Vamos a ver, el greeting lo hace Mario. Can you make, can you do the greeting, Mario? No, nope, I guess not. <laughs> Can you do the greeting, Josué Gutierrez? Hola, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Okay. Can I have the Can I have the greeting, Maria Elena? Hello? Okay, can I have the greeting, uh, Douglas? Hello, good evening. This is a Douglas from Tech Super. How can I help you? Hi, Douglas. This is Monica. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I like to report a problem with my kitchen. What, what is it, uh, Monica? I have uh, my kitchen does, doesn't work the oven. I see. Let me ask you some question. Acceptable. Acceptable. I like it. I like it very much. I like it very much. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. All right. I like to report a problem in my kitchen. Mm -hmm. The stove. Right? Uh -huh. I have a question. Es correcto que quise decir a mi cocina no le funciona el horno. My kitchen doesn't work the oven. Fíjese que a eso iba, Miss, porque um, usted me usó el lugar antes del dispositivo. Eh, uh -huh. Sería entonces que no le funciona la cocina, el, 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 la estufa, ¿verdad? O el... Es o bueno. el El horno, va. Entonces, el usted horno. quiso decirlo así. I have a problem in the kitchen. Tú estás describiendo un problema en un lugar, que es en la cocina. En el, in the uh -huh. kitchen area, puedes decir. Um, I like to report a problem in the kitchen area. ¿Ya? Yeah? I like to report... A problem in the kitchen area. The oven. The oven, what? The oven? No funciona el horno. No funciona el oven. Uy, se me fue ahí mal kitchen. I'm sorry. The kitchen. Okay, I like to report a problem. Lo siento, guys, que a veces se me va en español porque este teclado is crazy. Let me correct this. Let me try to correct this. Give me one second. I like to report a problem in the kitchen area. 
the oven doesn't seem to work. I like to report a problem in the kitchen area. The oven doesn't seem to work. Okay? okay. Very well, very well. My pleasure, my pleasure. Please take notes, take notes. And let's go with Esmeralda, que está bien activada, Miss Amaya. Usted va a reportar el problema. Lista? Okay. By yes. uh, who's gonna do the greeting? The greeting is gonna be done by Josué. Uh, tenemos audio ahí, Josh. Joshua. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Okay, okay. Ahora sí te escucho bien. Vámonos con tu greeting. Let's go. Yo reporto el problema. No, you go with the greeting. Hello, good ah, morning. Okay. En este caso, good evening. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Hello, good evening. This is Jose from the Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Jose. This is Esmeralda. I am calling from the Human Records Report Department. I'd like to report a problem why my company. What it is, Esmeralda? What is it? What is it, Esmeralda? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some question. Excellent. Very well. I like to report a problem. Acá, Miss Esmeralda, y chicos, la preposición con se dice with. With. Como con terminación Z, ¿verdad? Nada que ver, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. With. 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 Uh -huh. with. I like to report a problem with my computer. With my computer. All right. Nice job. Nice job, Josué. Esmeralda. Nice job. Let's continue with one more drill. This drill... Edwin, you're going to report a problem. Edwin, you're going to report a problem. And Monica, you're going to greet. You're going to be the technical support agent. Ready? Set. Hello, good evening. This is Monica from Tech Support. How can I help you? Eh, soy yo, Edwin is frozen. I think Edwin is frozen. Yeah, yeah. Okay, entonces, Josué, tú vas a dar el problema. You're going to report the problem, Josué. Ready? Ready, ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, Monica, again with your greeting. Hello, good evening. This is Monica from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Monica. This is Josue. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I'd like to report a problem with my microwave oven. What is it, Josue? What is it? What is it, Joshua? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Fabulous! Me gustó mucho ese. Nice job. Okay, vamos a pulir ahí, Josué, acá en esta parte. Esta parte okay. es difícil. Porque esta es la contracción. ¿Quién se acuerda cuál contracción es esta? Well, pido, oh, well. Ajá. Well. Recuerden que la L de letter L es silent. Entonces sería well. would. Well. Well. Piense que el would, guys, usualmente, o sea, es más común quizá, ¿verdad? Que se use con el verbo like. Es bien común que se use con el verbo like. Me gustaría. 
I would like. I would. I would like. I would like to. I would like to report. I would like to report a problem. ¿Cómo prefieren decir I would or I'd? I'd like. I'd like. Si ustedes me dicen I like to, a mí me encanta. Porque sigue siendo súper formal, súper profesional. Ahora, necesito que cojan el correcto por cuestiones de pronunciación, ¿ok? Si les cuesta la, la, ¿cómo se dice? La contraction. I'd like. I'd like. I'd like. I'd like to. ¿Ya? Yeah? Or I would I'd like, like to. I'd like. ¿Qué se les hace más fácil pronunciar? I would like. A ver, I would like to report a problem. Repeat, I would like to report a problem. I would like to report I a would problem. like to report a problem. Muy buena pronunciación. O oh, contraction. I like to report a problem. I like to report a problem. Mm -hmm. Y luego especificamos con qué, ¿verdad? With, with my, okay. Very nice. Solo esa fue la observación. Ah, y Mónica aquí más natural, ¿verdad? What is it? What is it? What is it? Sí, sí, Edwin, no problem. Ahí quedaste ahí en misterio esperándote ahí. So no problem, no problem, sir. A la otra vas, a la otra. Vaya, démosle entonces con... Patricia, are you ready, Patricia, to report a problem? I am ready, teacher. Wonderful. Entonces, Karen, usted nos da el greeting, Karen. Usted es el technical support, Karen, okay? Karen Elizabeth. Hi, teacher. Okay. Yo soy Let's Peter. Go. Yes, you will play Peter's role. Okay. Good morning. This is Peter. Peter. No, uh, this is Karen. Uh, this, this is Karen. Karen. Okay, comienza. <laughs> uh, good morning. This is Karen from Teach Support. How can I help you? Mm -hmm. Hi, Karen. This is Patricia. Patricia, <laughs> I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I'd like to problem to report a problem with my TV. What is I me perdió. <laughs> no me sale. What is it? And the pantalla se me perdió. What is it? What is it? Eh, what is it, Karen? What is it, Patricia? <laughs> what is it, Patricia? Yeah, Sorry. what is it, Patricia? I'm sorry. It does. It doesn't run. It doesn't run. Okay. My TV doesn't to run. Turn on. Turn on. My TV turn doesn't on. turn on. Turn on. Karen? Tienes que darle I como una expresión que... Que, que hagas entender que tú entendiste el problema, right? I see. Let me ask your question, some question. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Uh, I see. Let me ask you some question. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Vaya, Pati, ahora usted va a hacer the technical support. Right? Okay. And Laura, you're going to report a problem, Laura. You ready? Ready. Okay, Patricia. Good morning. This is Patricia from Teach Support. How can I help you? Hi, Patricia. This is Laura. I am calling from the Human Resource Depart 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 I know. Department. 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 I'd like to report a problem with my computer. 
It's with my tablet. Mm -hmm. Where is it, Laura? I don't seem to work. It doesn't. It doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some question. Me gustó, me gustó. Vaya, ojo aquí, Laurita, porque estamos hablando de un dispositivo, de una cosa singular, usamos it. It doesn't seem to work. All right. Okay. Nice job, nice job. Okay, let me see. Edwin, ahora sí, Edwin. Va a ser el technical support. Douglas, okay. you report a problem. You ready? Ready. Teacher, yo sería Peter. No, you oh. will be Robert. Es que ahorita hay muchas llamadas. Ya va, ya va a contestar a Edwin. Ok, ok. Good morning. This is Edwin from Tench Support. How can I help you? Hi, Edwin. Uh, this is Douglas. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I like to report a problem with my cell phone. What is it, uh, Mario? Douglas. Sorry, sorry, Douglas. It it doesn't seem to work uh, because uh, it doesn't connect to Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. I understand. Let me ask you some questions. Woohoo! I like it. I like. Hasta te creí, fíjate. Hasta se te suena así como que de verdad. Ahorita le vas a resolver el problema. So, eso, eh, gracias a la pronunciación, la confianza, el tono en que lo dices. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Very nice. Very nice. Creo que me faltó... Josué, me faltaste que tú reportes un problema, ¿verdad? Josué Gutiérrez. Entonces, Laura, tú vas a... Laurita... Fuentes. Hola. Practiquemos okay. el otro lado. Tú reportaste un problema, ¿verdad? ¿O no? Sí. Va, entonces ahora tú vas a hacer el technical support, ¿ok? okay. Y Josué, you're going to report a problem. ¿Ready? Good evening. This is Laura from Tech Support. How can how can I I help you? Hi Laura, this is Josué. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I would like to report a problem with my cell phone. What is uh, no sé cómo se llama. Josué? What is it? Josué. <laughs> what is it, Josué? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Great, great. Bueno, dice Irving, no se puede conectar. Oh, ok, 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 ok. Bueno, entonces quiero que per per perfeccionemos esta pregunta primero cuando ofrecemos la ayuda. ¿Por qué? Porque aquí estoy usando, eh, no me gusta mucho porque estoy usando Ken. Fíjense que Ken es un poquito confianzudo. Y estamos hablando eh, de una llamada laboral, ¿verdad? De soporte técnico. Vamos a cambiarla y vamos a hacerla más formal. ¿Cuál es el modal verb que voy a usar? Show, show. Vamos a usar may. Ok, María Elena. May es para pedir permisos, right? O para hacer preguntas súper profesionales. Entonces, en vez de decir, how can I help you? Hey, ¿cómo te ayudo? Voy a decir, how may I help you? ¿Cómo le puedo ayudar este día? How may, may I? Repeat, how, 
How may I how help you? How may, may I help you? Help you. Es diferente que yo te diga, how can I help you? Porque el can es más confianzudo. May es super formal. How may I help you? Good morning. This is Caleb from Tech Support. How can I help you? Better, how may I help you? Repeat, how may I help you? How may I help you? I help you. Super oh, natural, guys. How, how may I help you? How, y luego unimos, how may, how I, may, may I, may I, may I help you. unimos, help you, help you. Help you. How, how may, uh, may I help you? Todos, how may I help you? How may I help you? Everybody, how may I help you? How may I help you? Bueno, solo Mónica me está repitiendo. Ojalá que los demás estén practicando en casa, porque sería doble sí. trabajo para mí corregirlos más tarde. ¿Ok? How may I help you? How may, how may, I, help how you? may I help you? Help, how help, 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 help you. Help you. Help you. How help may you. I help you? Help you. A ver, Marilena. How may I help you? How may I help you? Ah, ok, María. A ver, vámonos con María, que es ayudar, help, ayudarte, help you. Help you. Help you. Help you. How may I help you? How may I help you? How may I help you? Ok, 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 va. Después de eso, necesito que perfeccionen acá. Ok, van a decir esta parte, right? O pueden eh, personalizarla. Pero esto de aquí, esto de aquí. Deciden qué van a usar, si la forma contractada. I like to report a problem with my laptop. Or I would like. Vean cuál van a usar. Y acá necesito más naturalidad. What is it? What is it? Is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Robert. What is it? Edwin. What is it? Josh. What is it? Maria. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Acá necesito que me cambien el problema. Van a llegar hasta donde dice, it doesn't. Y cambienme aquí esto. You need to come. You need to change this like. It doesn't seem to work. It doesn't turn on. ¿Qué otro problema puede ser? Uh, it doesn't. Oops. Here are some problems. Yeah. The paper stock in printer. The USB ports out of order. It has a virus. A virus. Virus? A virus. Virus is a virus, right? It has a virus. Okay, luego de cambiar esto, pues. Vamos a ver qué más. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Aha. Uh -huh. You report the problem, okay? What is it? You give the reason. What is the problem? Y luego terminen acá usando una expresión de acknowledgement, como las que aprendimos ayer. I see. I see está acá. Entonces necesito que me usen una diferente, como I understand. Repeat, I understand. I get it. I, understand. I, understand. I got it. I, I got it. it. I got it. I got it. Es así. I got it. I got it. Mm -hmm. I got it. Y luego sí. Let me ask you some so questions. questions. Entonces ustedes van a prepararme su propio drill con un compañero personalizado, super personalized. Sorprendanme, please. Vamos a ver acá. Voy a dividir para que hagamos este trabajito. All right. 
Let me take a picture of this. Here we go. Vaya, entonces, vamos a ubicarlos. Let me see. Elena, María Elena, is going to go with Esmeralda, okay? Okay. María with Esmeralda. Váyanse ya en el WhatsApp, ahí a trabajar, prepare your drill. Edwin, you go with Lara. Okay. Edwin, you go with Lara. Váyanse ya a practicar. ¿Qué dice, Miss? Fíjese que... Oh, my God, Miss, está bien ocupada. Vaya, Karen no nos podrá apoyar, dice, está muy ocupada. Ok, Karen, I'm sorry. Vamos a ver, Tatiana, you go with Douglas. Espero que puedan lograrlo debido a los internet problems. Tati and Douglas. Ok. Ya mi folleto. Josué, you go with Monica. Monica is great, Josué. Josué and Monica. Okay. Mario, ¿estás Mario? Mario, Mario. Hernández. Laurita, ahí la buscan en WhatsApp. Check it out. Bueno, Mario creo que no está. Vaya, vámonos con Patricia. Let me see. Yeah, Patricia. Let me see. Okay, entonces sería Patricia, you can work with Raymond. Okay, Patricia. Hello, Raymond. Hey, hello, teacher. Hey, good evening, sir. Are you ready to participate? And not ready because I have uh, some problems. No problems. Emergency. Sir. Emergency. Emergencies. With, with my car. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. But I I am ready to to talk it talking with uh, Patricia. To talk. You with think Patricia. so? Yes. Uh, she she's my my co-worker. Ah, ok. Entonces, Patricia, puedes prepararlo We work para... together in the, the whole city. Nice, nice. Ahorita vamos a hacer como un conversation, Ramón. ¿Crees que puedas trabajar con Patricia o le asignamos a alguien más? Ah, sí, sí. Quiere asignarle a alguien más porque fíjese que yo estoy aquí luchando con un vehículo. Sí, 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 démosle ahí, Raymond, no problem. Gracias sí. ahí por estar con Ay, la disculpa, pero, pero ya vamos a tener, ya tenemos el tema que hemos escogido, ya sabe cuál es y lo vamos a trabajar el, el fin de semana. Ah, no, eso no me queda la menor duda, yo sé que sí, yo sé que sí. Démosle ahí, Ramón, no hay problema. Entonces, okay, Patricia, no problem. Patricia. ¿Qué? Escobar, ¿quién es Escobar? Josué. Escobar. Pero no, Josué. Yo soy... Gutiérrez, es correcto. Uh -huh. ¿Quién es Escobar? Vaya, Patricia. Lo que tú vas a hacer es que vas a prepararme solo tu parte, ¿ok? Vas a reportar el problema. Sí. Eh, cuando estés lista, vamos a escoger a un compañero para que te ayude con el drill, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Entonces, usted va a preparar la parte de report a problem. La parte de Robert. Okay. Ese saludo, guys. Ese saludo normal, ¿verdad? Eh, good evening. This is Douglas from Tech Support. How may I help you? Formal, super formal. How may I help you? El may van a usar ahí. Right? Y a la hora de reportar, hi, uh, Douglas, this is Kalev. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. 
Super importante a la hora de reportar, right? I like to report a problem or I would like to report a problem with my, and you said the device, acá, natural. What is it? Teacher, podría mandar ese, eh, esa conversación ahí en WhatsApp para tomarla de ejemplo. Ok, claro que sí. No problem. Let me get my WhatsApp pulled up here. Y los demás, pues, tenemos ahí 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Ahí pónganse de acuerdo via WhatsApp. Prepare your conversation.
Evening. This is Monica from Tech Support. How, how may I help you? This is Monica from Tech Support. How, how may I help you?
All right, all right. How are you doing, people, dear students? Are you ready to perform? Yes. All right, all right. Everybody is ready? Everybody is ready? I am ready. Yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. Things to take into account is your pronunciation. I'm sorry to insist, yes, but here you're going to say, how may I help you? How may I help you? How may I help you? Very, very uh natural try to sound as natural as possible um what else i like to report a problem or i would like to report a problem okay any question before we start no Okay, in that case, I'm expecting to see a good performance. Let's see. No me sale aquí. Mostrar. Where is it? Come on. Bueno. Here. That's a strange. Okay, anyways, we're going to start then with uh, some volunteers. Do we have a volunteer? Yo estoy esperando, teacher. <laughs> Patricia? Estoy esperando a alguien que tenga el problema, el issue. El issue, vaya, pues ahí los dejo, entonces... Para terminar con usted, ¿usted está con Douglas? No, no tengo pareja. Ah, yeah, 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 oh. yeah. It's true, it's true, it's true. Iba con uh, Raymond, pero Raymond está busy. Así que usted ya tiene. ¿Usted va a hacer el uh, tech support? Ok. Or you're going to report the problem, porque necesito las dos, ¿verdad? Or Ok, vaya, pero la vamos a dejar a usted para cerrar así con broche de oro, ¿ok, Miss? Ok, ok. Ok, ok, ok. Entonces vámonos con Edwin. Edwin, Alexis. Hello, Alexis. You ready, Alexis, to perform? Hello. Alexis goes with. Let me see. ¿Con quién ibas tú, Mr.? Laura. Edwin and Laura. Let me see. Ah, aquí lo puse. Edwin and Laura. Lente. Let's continue. Continue, Josh and Monica. Ah, vaya. Okay. Let's go with Edwin and Laura. Guys, pay attention, please. Edwin and Laura, speak up. Hablen fuerte, hablen claro. Fuerte y claro, right? Three, two, one. Hello, good evening. This is Edwin from Teach Support. How may I help you? Hi, Edwin. This is Laura. I, I am called from the Human Resource Department. I would like to report a problem with my TV. What is it, Laura? It doesn't, it doesn't turn on. I understand. Le, let me ask you some questions. Wonderful. I understand. Let me ask you some questions. <laughs> nice job, nice job. Tienen solo ese role play o van a hacer el switch? 
No, solo ese. Va, estamos bien, estamos bien. Ok, ok, nice job. Let's go to the next drill. The next drill today. Next drill is going to be performed by... Ya me pusieron acá. Um, let me see. Uy, se me adelantó todo. Wow. Continue, Josh and Monica. Are you ready, Monica? Are you ready, Jose? Yes. Great. Yes, I ready. Role play on three, two, one, go. Good evening. This is Monica from the support. Hope may I help you? Hi, Monica. This is Joshua. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I'd like to report a problem with my smart TV. What is it, Joshua? My smart TV doesn't work the audio. I follow you. Let me ask you some questions. Ooh, I like it. My smart TV huh, has a problem. That's very creative, very creative. Nice job. <laughs> okay, okay. Vámonos entonces, next drill, next conversation. Good job, Josué. Good job, Monica. Thank you. Okay. Bueno, entonces, Josh and Monica. What about Tatiana and Douglas? Are you ready, Tatiana and Douglas? Yes, are you ready? Fantastic. Yes, okay. Uy, ojalá funcione todo, Miss Tati. Les vaya bien. Let's do your best. Role play on three, two, one. Good evening. This is Douglas Sanchez from Technical Service. How can I help you? Hello? Hello, Hello Douglas. I am Tatiana. I am calling from Tech Support. Okay. What With is my it, laptop. Tatiana? What is it, Tatiana? Um, I am technical support with my laptop. It doesn't turn turn on. Ah, I I got it. Let me ask you some question. All right, all right. Seré yo o no capte. Creo que hubo problemas quizás de conexión, ¿verdad? Porque no alcancé a captar la pregunta donde ofreces servicio. Tu, tu servicio es como, how may I help you? Si ¿Sí la usamos. Sí, sí, sí. sí lo ocupó. Ah, lo que okay. pasa es que yo sí tengo problemas de audio, por eso es que a mí no se me escucha bien también. Ajá, esa parte sí, no. Yo sí, lo yo sí lo dije. Lo dijiste, ¿verdad? Pero okay. sí lo dijo. Okay, wonderful guys. Just checking, just checking. Nice job. Thank you for your effort. Gracias por Lo sus... que pasa es que también, uh -huh. teacher, hicimos varios ejemplos en el chat. Entonces también no llevamos cuál ejemplo elegir, pero sí. <laughs> Tenían varias sí, opciones sí. entonces, ¿no? Sí. Good yes, job, teacher. good job, good job. Okay, not a problem. Okay, let's go with uh, Marilena. Marilena in. En Esmeralda, pero no sé dónde está. Aquí estoy. Ah. Aquí está, si sí está ready, Miss Esmeralda. Está ready, Miss Esmeralda. Yes. Wonderful. María, are you ready? Yes. All right, let's go over one more role play about technical problems. Good evening. This is Esmeralda from the support. How may I help you? Hi, Esmeralda. This is Maria. I'm co calling from support M-E-M. -E -M. 
I'd like to report a problem with my refrigerator. What is what is it, Maria? It doesn't frozen. I don't understand. Can you explain me, Will, please? Yeah, teacher. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, acceptable, acceptable. Y no les puedo exigir más, ¿verdad? Si me han utilizado lo que les he pedido. How may I help you? I would like to report a problem with my refrigerator. Okay. It doesn't freeze. I say, ahí sería en presente, okay, means El presente de frost sería freeze. It doesn't freeze. Como que no hela, ¿verdad? No... Así decimos en español, no congela decimos. It doesn't freeze. Ok. 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 Good job. Freeze is F-R-E-E-Z-E. -E -E. Freeze. Let me see who else do we have. Um, let's check, let's check, let's check. Uh -huh. Ok, me faltó alguien, a ver, Ajá. Patricia, ¿verdad? Teacher. You ready, Patricia? I am ready. Ok, ¿usted es el technical support o you have a problem? Uh, tech support. Tech support. All right. entonces vamos a ver, Esmeralda le va a ayudar, ok. Okay. Okay. Ready, Esmeralda? Okay, teacher. Okay, Patricia, you answer the phone, Patricia. You're the technical support agent. Good evening. This is Patty from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Patricia. This is Esmeralda. I am calling from the... <sighs> The human record department. What is it, Esmeralda? I don't see to work. I see. Let me ask you some question. Okay, okay, okay. Um, la parte de reportar el problema es menaldita, ¿ok? La parte de reportar el problema. Vamos a hacerlo una vez más. Patricia, vamos a escoger a alguien más. Let me check. Laura, are you ready, Laura? Can yeah. you help, Patricia? Ok, remember, cuando reportas el problema, I would like, or I like. Eso necesito escuchar clear, clear, clear as crystal water. Ready, Patty? Good evening. This is Patty from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Patty. This is Laura. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. Um, I would like to report a problem with my refrigerator. Where is it, Laura? Um, wait. It doesn't. Pero como le digo, no congela o no hela. Ajá, it doesn't freeze. It doesn't freeze. I see. Let me ask you some question. Wonderful. It doesn't. It doesn't freeze. freeze. Miss Patricia, qué natural se le escucha, Miss. Congratulations. Esa parte, guys, todos, esa parte de reportar el problema. Practice that. I would like to report a problem. Yeah. O si no. I'd like to report a problem. 
Remember, pronunciation is extremely, extremely important for you. Okay? Any question, guys? Congratulations on the drills. Alguien me faltó. Alguien me, me quedó debiendo algo, no? Estamos. We're good. We're good. Right? Okay. Let me then share my share my book. Let me share my book. We are almost finishing. Ya casi vamos de bajadita, ¿verdad, guys? Con el módulo. El libro ya casi, casi lo culminamos. So, let me just share. Let me... I'm sorry, this is working a little slow. Okay, so we have ways to report a problem. Ways to report a problem. Formas, ¿verdad? And common issues to report. Class, what is the meaning of issues? Problemas. Problems. What is the synonym? Problems. Problems. That's the synonym. I have a problem. I have an issue. Repeat, I have a problem. I have a problem. I have a problem. I have a problem. An issue, porque issue comienza con vocal. El artículo es an. I have an issue. I have an issue. I have an issue. Fíjense. Lenguaje técnico. Si ustedes dicen, I have a problem, probable alguien les entienda, right? Eh, de los que estamos estudiando inglés, right? Pero si usted dice, I have an issue, no cualquiera le comprende, porque issue es el sinónimo de problem. Y como problem es más como común, todos usamos problem, problem, problem. But you can say issue, okay? Okay, so here we have the ways to report a problem. Check it out. For example, I would like to report a problem. Repeat, guys. I would I like would, to report a problem. Like report. I would like to report problems. Okay, listen, listen, and repeat. I would like to report a problem. I, I would like, like to report a problem. problem. Mm -hmm. Next. I would like to report an issue. I would like to report an issue. Nice. Repeat. I would like to report an issue. I would like to report an issue. Incluso hay otro sinónimo, solo que tenemos que saber usarlo, es trouble. Repeat, trouble. Trouble. I have trouble. I have trouble. I have a trouble with. ¿Qué estoy diciendo? I have problems. I have issues. Sí, es lo mismo. I have trouble. 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 I have trouble. Muy bien. I have trouble with. With. I have trouble with. I have trouble with. Repeat. Trouble with. I have trouble with my TV, for example. I have trouble with my TV, mm -hmm. my cell phone, mm -hmm. my computer. Mm -hmm. Y acá con, con contracción, démosle acá con contracción. Listen and repeat. Okay. I'd like to report a problem. I'd like to report a problem. I'd like to report an issue. I'd like to report an issue. I have a problem. No, I'm sorry. I have trouble. I have trouble with my camera. I have trouble. I have trouble with camera. Mm -hmm. All right. Bueno, y aquí, common, common issues to report. 
problemas comunes. For example, como estamos hablando de un device, de un dispositivo, it's not a person, so the subject is it. It does not seem to work. It does not seem. Ahí cerramos. Cuando decimos sim, close your lips. Sonido M. Mm, mm, sim. Sim. It does not seem to work. It does it not, not work seem to, to work. Es que como que no quiere trabajar. Es que no quiere funcionar. Oh. It does not. It does not seem to work. It's, it does not seem to work. It does not seem to work. Perfect. It makes. Makes. It makes. I make. You make. But the person makes. It makes. It makes a. It makes a. Strange. Strange. Can you repeat? Strange. 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 Vaya, sin la, sin la E al principio, porque no lleva E. We don't say a strange, sino la S. Strange. 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 A veces ponemos la E al principio por inercia, ¿verdad? En nuestro idioma español. Pero no digamos, cuando vean una S, como ejem por ejemplo, estudiante, student. Some people say a student, dice. I am a student. A student, no, sino student. Right. Strange, no, sino strange. Strange. Muy bien. Entonces, a veces hacemos como que sonidos eh, de más, ¿verdad? Por nuestro idioma. Entonces, en ese caso, strange. Si les cuesta strange, pueden decir funny. 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 Nice. Repeat. It makes a strange noise. It makes a strange noise. Noise. What is noise? Noise. Mm. Nariz. Ruido. Uh, si sí, nariz sería nose. No, noise es ruido. Buya decimos nosotros, ¿verdad? Pónganlo ahí en su vocabulario. Noise. 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 Repeat. It makes a strange noise. It makes a, it makes a strange noise. It, it, makes, it makes a, a, a strange, 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 it makes a funny noise or it makes a strange noise? It makes, okay. strange, it makes a strange noise. Strange. 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 Bien gracioso, un ruido curioso, un ruido raro. Strange. It does not, it does not turn on. It does not turn on. It does not turn on. Unamos aquí turn. Turn. Estos son verbos fraseales, guys. Está el verbo con una preposición. Ya es más avanzado eso, ¿ok? Pero el punto es que quiero que lo unamos en la pronunciación. En vez de decir turn on, vamos a decir turn on. Turn on. Turn on. ¿Qué significa encender, verdad? No enciende. It does not turn on. 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 Mm -hmm. Turn on. Turn on. Turn, 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 turn on. Lo opuesto sería turn off. Apagar. No apaga. It does not turn off. Turn off. Con, con O-F-F. -F, off. Turn mm -hmm. off. Uh -huh. 
Ahora, contractions, contraction. It, it does not seem to work. Decimos, it doesn't. doesn't. It doesn't seem to work. It doesn't. It doesn't. It does not, not work. seem to work. No, es que si decís, it doesn't, estás contractando el does con el does not, ¿ya? It doesn't seem to work. It doesn't. It doesn't seem to work. Mm -hmm. It does not seem to work or it doesn't seem to work. It does not seem to work. It doesn't seem to work. Acá. It does not turn on or it doesn't turn on. It doesn't it turn on. It doesn't turn on or it doesn't turn on. Turn on. Yes. Excellent. Guys, I have a problem with my cell phone. What isn't? What is it? What's it? What, what is it? What is it? What is it? Where is it? What is it? <laughs> Good job. Okay. The storage. Its storage is very low. It's storage. I got it. Storage is Let very low. Some question. <laughs> Good job. Ahí les hablé. ¿Cuál es el problema de mi celular? Y es cierto. Its so, storage is very lento. low. ¿Cómo? Es muy lento. Es muy lento. No. Storage. What is storage? Historial. Mm, ese es history. Storage. Storage. A ver, storage. ¿Cuál es el problema más, uno de los problemas más básicos de los celulares? Carga. Puede ser. En este caso, storage, les hablo del almacenamiento. Mm. Como de la memoria, digamos. Entonces, its storage is very low. Su almacenaje, su capacidad de almacenamiento es muy... Es muy, muy pequeño. Low es, es como bajo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, perfecto. Bueno, chicos, se nos fue el tiempo. Vámonos a la attendance real quick. Attendance, attendance. Alex Enoch Ramírez Salazar, are you in the house? Alex creo que está un poquito mal de salud, guys. Uh, Douglas Humberto Sánchez Díaz. I am present. Thank you, sir. Edith, Adi, Edith Adilia Hernández Chacón. Pero sí estaba anteriormente. Entonces, Edwin Alexis Rodríguez Cortés. Present teacher. Thank you. Esmeralda Abigail Santos Amaya. Present teacher. Got it. Irvin Joel Morán González. Missing in action. Josué Eduardo Gutiérrez Salguero. Present teacher. Great job tonight, Josué. Keep it up, okay? Keep it up. Gracias. Julio César Caridad Valente is missing in action. Karen Elizabeth Ramos Aguilar. Present teacher. Thank you. Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Melendez. Present. Great. María Elena Linares Díaz. Present. All right. Mario Alberto Hernández Vázquez. Mónica Maricela Martínez Pineda. Present. Present. Great job, Monica. And then, Thank you. my pleasure. Ramon Antonio Escoto Abarca, un ratito entró, ¿verdad? So, le voy a poner aquí que sí vino. Roberto Antonio Ramírez González. And, last but not least, last but not least. No me mencionó, teacher. A eso voy. Last but not least significa <laughs> la última pero no menos importante, ¿verdad? <laughs> Last but not least, Miss Tatiana Vanessa Escobar Ortiz. Present teacher. Uh -huh. Guys, thank you. You rock and roll. You definitely rock and roll. Yes? Uh, question. Yes. 
eh, para hacer, el, bueno, sobre lo del trabajo para el martes. Uh -huh. eh, creo, estoy entendido de que usted dijo que quería una, como un tipo de video haciendo un diálogo entre nosotras dos. ¿En qué aplicación se pudiera hacer eso para poder subir ese video a la, digamos, a la plataforma, a la, donde usted nos ha mandado los, en PowerPoint? Fíjese, mis que no quiero complicarlos mucho con eso, ¿ok? No, video no, video en realidad no les he pedido video. Uh -huh. Sería fantástico, ¿verdad? Pero no se pueden uh, reunir así físicamente. Entonces, lo que quiero es que en el tiempo real, por ejemplo, eh, alguien abre con la introducción, ¿right? Presentan, uh -huh. por ejemplo, las participantes, su tema, ¿right? Y en la presentación de eh, PowerPoint, ahí pues ustedes lo que van a poner son imágenes y un poquito de contenido, porque lo que más queremos es que ustedes nos expliquen el tema, ¿verdad? Que nos den algunos tips de gramáticos que hemos aprendido, alguna fórmula que tú quieras explicar en la presentación. Luego que, que terminas o que terminan con la PowerPoint presentation, van a hacer un drill. Justo como los que hacemos siempre en clase, Mónica. Es una conversación, una interacción, es un role play, uh -huh. usando eh, lo que han enseñado. Es decir, si ustedes han eh, enseñado, por ejemplo, need to and have to, al final, pues, van a presentar, ¿verdad? Ok, guys, now we have a conversation for you, ¿ok? Vamos a la conversación y comienzan. Hey, um, Esmeralda, what do you need to do tomorrow? Ah, I need to check my email. I have to attend a meeting, etc. Okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. My pleasure. Any other question tonight? No, solamente. No more questions, guys? Okay. I want to wish you to have a great and lovely night. And I'll see you tomorrow, Friday, okay? Bye, teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, everyone. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, Says bye, bye, bye. Good night, everyone. <laughs> bye, bye, teacher. <laughs> bye. Goodbye.